What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. I'm going to share with you guys today my top five trout lures. Just uh, a heads up for you trout magnet guys. He didn't make the list. Sorry. All of these trout lures are a little different in their own way. And if I absolutely need to go out and catch fish, I know one of these five will most definitely bring a fish to the net. One of the best things about trout fishing is this right here is all the gear I really need when I go out. And I can guarantee one of these lures in here will catch a fish. It's small enough, it fits in my chest pack. And my phone's in there. And my car keys. Coming in at number five is Powerbait Power Worm. I really do enjoy these a lot. They work really good for stock fish, especially if you're planning on keeping them because it seems like they like to swallow the hook a lot. That's why it's number five on my list. I do, they are absolutely trout killers and I can catch a lot of trout with these. The problem is they swallow a lot of hooks. I wouldn't use it on a creek like this because this is a wild creek. I want these fish to stay here so I can catch them over and over and over. This could limit that quite a bit, especially if one of these big fish in this hole here were to swallow this, have a hook go down its throat, I wouldn't recommend this for wild trout. Stock trout, if you're planning on keeping them, this is right up your alley. Coming in at number four is the jerk bait. I have exactly five of these in my box. These will absolutely catch you some giant fish. It seems as though they will trigger a bite when the bite is slow because you have to do a jerking motion to get them in. And it seems as though, obviously, these are a pretty big lure, all things considered, for trout. Big lure, big fish. Just kind of makes sense. This is a good meal for a big hungry trout. Coming in at number three is the Castmaster. I personally like these more for lake fishing versus stream fishing. They are a pretty heavy lure. You know, so cast these incredibly far because they are so aerodynamic. Again, that's why I like these for lake fishing or very, very big creeks or rivers. It has a nice fluttering motion in the water. I cannot tell you how long I've been using these. Probably as long as I've been able to cast a spinning rod. Coming in at number two is the Meps Agula. This is a size three, so it's a pretty beefy spinner. It's gonna move a lot of water, cause a lot of vibration. These again are a spinner I use when I'm fishing big creeks and rivers. A creek like this behind me, I really probably would not throw it. Most of the fishing here can't even handle a hook this big. But when I'm up on pens or the Little Juniata, big bodies of water, this is something I want to use because it's going to cause a lot of commotion in the water. And it's big so I can reach out there and cast to places that other people can't. And finally, if I can get one of these. Well, apparently I can't. I have a lot of them, and I mean a lot of these. Panther Martin, specifically size four and size six. And even more specific, I prefer the black and yellow colored Panther Martin in size four and size six. I have fished those spinners so hard, I've beat the paint off of them, and they still catch fish. They are my absolute number one when it comes to catching fish. I almost always have one tied on, and I very rarely defer from anything else, unless I'm covering specific water, a deep hole that I know I want to get down real far, I'll tie on a MEPS. If I really want to target these bigger fish, I'll go after a trout-sized jerkbait, and I'll use that to try to catch a bigger fish with Well, there you have it. There is my top five trout lures. I guarantee you, they can catch fish. If you guys are interested in any of those lures, I will have them linked down in the description down below. I highly recommend all of them. They will all catch fish in their own specific way. Like I said, those pink power worms, I would try to use those for, uh, I would try to only use those for stock fish that you're planning on taking home with you just because they swallow the hooks often. But other than that, I've caught fish on all of these and they are staples in my little tackle box that I have. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was thorough for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comments. 
I'm sorry to you trout magnet guys, but I don't really care for those. And uh, I know it's a, a love them or hate them kind of situation, it seems like. I'm not a fan, so sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, and peace.